Thank you for joining our very first tutorial on building balloon frames part one. Having a frame for 95% of your work is important because it saves you time setting up. You can build more decor and it helps stabilize your work. You don't have to worry about damaging your client's wall or trying to figure out how to rig your work. Let's get started. <laughs> Today we will be building a balloon column frame, the round photo frame, table centerpiece frame, and the tabletop arch frame. These are some of the items you'll need to build your base and frames. This is a cobalt pipe cutter, and this is what I'm going to use to cut conduit hex pipe and anything else you need to cut. I would get a cobalt one because it does have a lifetime guarantee on it. This is the conduit that we're going to cut today. This is the half inch. There's also a three-fourths inch. So what we do is we open this up. We attach it to the pole. Tighten it up. And then you start going around the pole. And every time it starts getting a little loose, you just tighten it up like that and then continue to go around. And also, if it's uh, not going around the pipe properly or it's taking too long or if it seems like it's, it's having a hard time, that means, you, that means you need to replace the blade. And... Uh, they do sell replacement blades at Lowe's. This is our 12 by 12 stone that we're going to drill today. And make sure when you're using a hammer drill that you do have it set on this side where it says hammer. And after you drill the hole, just move the brick around little like this to clean as much dirt out as possible. Go ahead and plug in your high temperature glue guns. You need at least three to four. You need to make sure that the glue stays hot while you're gluing it in the brick. I have a three-fourths piece of conduit cut. We need to drill a hole in the end of it and I'll explain why when we start putting the base and frame together. Now, I did change the drill back to the other side for uh, regular drilling. Usually start off slow, and then I speed it up. Now, when you get ready to clean your brick, you want to make sure you have a baby bristle like this or a rag that you're gonna clean out the hole. You also wanna make sure that you have your 3M tape, have your two magnetic levels, and have your pipe ready. And you need to make sure that all of the dust is cleaned out of this hole. Then I take a rag. and kind of pull this rag through while I'm doing like this. Make sure you have your extra glue sticks also. Now when you get ready to start filling the glue in the brick, there's a little ridge on this brick. Make sure when you put the tape on, you put the tape on the back side, this side, which is the flat side. And you're just going to take two pieces of the tape. You're going to flip your brick over. And 
and you're going to start filling that with your glue. Three fourths uh, 10 inch pole in. Make sure you don't glue the side down that has the hole that we drilled in. So just go ahead and put it in and move it around some so that glue can get on that pole. Once you get it in, you're going to take your magnetic levelers and put one on each side. And you want to make sure that bubble is in the middle. This bubble right there. And once it's set up, you can remove your levelers and go ahead and finish putting the glue in. You want to make sure that you are generous with this glue. And this is your base. Now you learn how to make your 12 by 12 base. This, the brick, you do it the same exact way, except for the pole goes directly into your bricks. This is a half inch pole. This is the base you're going to use for your balloon column. You're going to insert a half inch conduit cut to five feet. You're going to insert it into your base. The hole that we drill, you're going to go ahead and finish drilling all the way through and use a self tapping screw. After you have your screw on, you're going to take some duct tape and wrap it from about right here all the way past the screw up to this part because this part is sharp. And that is your balloon column and your table centerpiece frame. For the top of your balloon column, you will need to either put duct tape on here or either an 11 inch balloon on top of it. This is the round photo frame. The PEX is 3 fourths by 10 feet. The pole is cut to 43 inches. We're using one of the regular 12 by 12 bases. Remember to connect it with your self tapping screw. The pole is connected to the PEX pipe by using a T connector. On the front side, we drilled it and put a self tapping screw. On the back side, we did it on the opposite side. And the same for the pole. On the front side, we put it up. And on the back side, we got it going down. This is the back side. As you can see, the front side did not have the uh, scan. So it's just on the opposite side. Now that I have it turned around, the front side is on this side now. And this one is down. The one on the front is up some. You need two bases to make your tabletop balloon arch. You'll also need your aluminum fuel line to connect it. We cut ours at 75 inches, but it just kind of depends on the size that you need for the tabletop. Let's go ahead and connect the aluminum fuel line. You're just going to go ahead and put it down in the hole and you're going to cover that with duct tape before you put your balloons on. You're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. These six by six bricks 
you do them the exact same way as the other brick. You glue the pole directly into the brick. This conduit is cut at 30 inches and the aluminum fuel line is cut at 75 inches. The aluminum fuel line is bendable. Just try to shape it into an arch frame as much as possible. Once the balloons are on the frame, you won't be able to tell. I hope you use this to build heavy basin frames for your balloon art. I have included the instruction sheet linked below. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Stay tuned for our next video, continuing to build more frames. Like, share, and subscribe.